Good morning everybody. Today I will be presenting our paper A Novel Machine Learning Based Method for Defect Video Detection in Social Media. The outline of the talk is first introduction, then motivation, how defect videos are created, related works and their issues, our proposed solution, results and conclusion and future work. Let's watch a 10 second video before going into detail. It was sourced from Face Forensics dataset. It is one of the 2000 training videos. So the obvious question comes, is it real or fake? It is a fake video. So one thing is clear that Defect videos are very sophisticated in nature. It is difficult to detect in bare eyes. The term defect is a combination of two words, diff learning and fake. There are some prevalent techniques for image and video manipulation. Among them, defect is a serious contender. Some defect videos are funny, but some are not. They are threat to individual's identity, reputation, and national security. In today's life, social media plays a significant role. When videos are uploaded in social media, they get compressed. Higher the compression, higher the loss, lower the chances of detection. So our goal was to design a model to detect highly compressed videos in social media. So how defect videos are created? It can be created by variational autoencoder and generative adversarial network or GAN. Let's discuss the first one autoencoder. Creating defect video with autoencoders has two parts, training and generation. So first comes the training. Autoencoder is a combination of encoder and a decoder. When an image is given to an encoder, a latent face is created and this latent face is then fed into a decoder which reconstructs that face again. To make defect videos, two sets of autoencoders are needed, one for source and another for target. Both encoders share the weights to have common features of source and target faces. Once the training is complete, a latent face of A passed through the decoder B instead of decoder A. As a result, a object B or face B is created from the relative information of face A. It is repeated for all the frames to make the defect videos. It shows how defect video is created by generative adversarial network. But we will not go into detail as our work does not include defect videos by GANs. These are some of the existing works. Each work has used different models and different datasets. They have some issues too. Few works have been done for compressed videos and for highly compressed videos accuracy is not so good. Most of the works are complex in nature. So a simple solution for compressed videos was needed which does less computation. So our address research question becomes how to detect compressed defect videos in social media. Challenges we had as compression causes losses so fake attributes might be lost and detection might not be accurate. Assumptions we made defect videos are generated by autoencoders. This is the proposed method. It has three parts, video processing, feature extraction, and classification. Video processing consists of frame extraction, 
phase detection and cropping and resizing. Whereas, feature extraction is done by convolutional neural network. Initially, we used three different CNNs and finally chose the best performer. Our proposed classifier network does the classification part. We used transfer learning for our feature extractor. Initially, we used ResNet50, Inception V3 and Exception as our feature extractor. They were pretend on ImageNet. So, they learned the general features of images like edges, corners and colors already. There are two advantages for using transfer learning. Training time gets saved and accuracy is better. During training, we replaced the last layer of CNN and added the classifier network. Then froze the feature extractor and trained the classifier network with phase forensic plus plus dataset. So the last layers learn the real and fake images features. Lastly, we fine-tuned the whole network end to end. For better accuracy, we detected and cropped the faces. This is the residual building block of ResNet 50, which is a network-in-network -network architecture. This is the canonical inception module from inception v3 resnet 50 and inception v3 are two of the cnns we used as feature extractor the third one is exception net it is based on depth wise separable convolution we replaced the last fully connected layer and added our classifier network our classifier network consists of a global average, average pooling network with a dropout layer followed by a fully connected layer with a dropout and finally the softmax layer for classification. We used Phase Forensic++ dataset, 1000 defect videos and 1000 real videos we used 80-20 rule for training and validation data. We tested our model with 100 videos. For training, we used medium level compression that is constant rate factor of 23 and tested our model with medium and highly compressed videos. During training, we extracted the frames with FFmpeg software with a frame extraction rate of 24 frames per second. We detected the phase from the frames with delete packages. Then for better accuracy, faces were cropped and resized as per the input requirements of the CNNs. Once the feature maps are extracted from the CNNs, classifier network was trained to classify each frame. We calculated the cross entropy loss and used Adam optimizer. Finally, we got three different trained models with optimal parameters for three different CNNs. In detecting a video, same video processing part has been done and each cropped and resized face frame is passed through the trained models which gives us the result is video fake or not. This is our proposed algorithm which says the competition will be continued when the frame is real but when the frame is fake it stops computing and name the video as fake. The best case scenario when the first frame is fake, worst case scenario when the last frame is fake or the frame is real. Or the video is real. This slide shows the accuracies we got for different CNNs and for different compression levels. Here we see exception network outperforms the other two networks for both the 
compression levels. We got accuracies of 96% for medium level compression and 93% for highly compressed video. It shows the comparative study between our work and Face Foreign 6 papers work. Use of our classifier network increased the overall accuracy for the network. We see a significant improvement of 12% increase of accuracy for highly compressed videos. This slide shows the result from a fake video and a real video. We see our model detects both the videos correctly with a high probability. This slide shows how our model worked. The left hand side video is a video we started with. This video was fed into our model and our model detected this video as the fake video with 97.23% probability. So, our model worked pretty well. So now, we have reached almost at the end of our talk and now comes the conclusion. Our proposed method detects different video in social media with high accuracy and with less computation. It is a neural network based method where exception net has been used as feature extractor and we proposed our simple classifier network which was the reason for high accuracy. We already did another part of this work uh, with the key video frame technique and we detected the defect video and we have submitted the work in our, as our next paper. We achieved higher accuracy and we did lesser computation. In future, we will be doing the defect images, detection of defect images created by GANs or generative adversarial network. That was all for today. Thank you.